guys welcome back to our channel this is gonna be our first well my first cooking video on this channel because i don't cook yeah connor doesn't cook she's the cook of the house but i cook and i want to show you guys and you guys are going to see his reaction to what i cook today i could so. probably cook this because they make it easy yeah they like literally write it out for you yeah, we're going to be filming a cooking video today if you're new to our channel don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and you're going to watch me cook now let's all right. go all right guys so today's video is sponsored by every plate they had sent us a few meals to try out and today i'm going to be making this lemon garlic shrimp over creamy parmesan risotto and risotto is literally just like rice creamy so every plate you can get delivered to your door when you want to you go onto their website and then you have 16 different options to choose from and they deliver it to you and it takes about 30 minutes to cook and they give you every little thing on this i'm not even kidding you guys they show you the step by step what you need to do in order to make this meal they also let you know how long it takes to prep on here and the time it takes to cook so excited to try this just because i also do have a new work schedule so it's kind of harder for me to stop at the grocery store right after work just because i'm so ready to get home and kind of get dinner done with and kind of relax for the rest of the day but being able to just have to avoid a grocery trip just because sometimes i miss an ingredient or sometimes i don't have something that i want to make i don't have the ingredients at home then i don't have to worry about that because they literally send you everything that is needed for the recipe usually the portions that you need are like household things that you would actually need like salt and pepper like you're gonna have that in your pantry you know it's also super affordable i'm not even kidding you guys one cup of coffee costs just as much as a meal that you can get delivered to your home the dinners are super cheap and it's an alternative way to practically get takeout with out getting takeout you get to experience full plates fuller wallets you're just like saving time saving money and having a good dinner out of it then all you have to do is just go on their website sign up choose your meals we'll also have a promotion code in the description and caption Make sure you look at it use it save yourself some money and yeah we're gonna cook it let's go today i'll be making four servings so i already thought two shrimp we're gonna now rinse it the first step we're going to be doing is wash and dry produce peel and finally chop garlic zest and half lemon trim and thinly slice scallions and separating whites from greens so we're gonna do that first after rinsing that we're gonna just pat it dry and then here are the scallions. I forgot to wash this other lemon, so I'm gonna do that really quick. So I'm gonna first zest this lemon and I have this tool. Then I'm going to half the lemon. So I am doing four servings, like I said, so I'm also going to half this lemon in case I need that much. Now we're going to be cutting up these scallions. I'm just gonna cut them pretty thinly. So now we're going to just move this over to this side. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know. We're going to just use those six guys. And then again, just kind of like snap on it. Wow, look at that, guys. Huh. See, you can learn a thing or two from me. Now we are just going to chop these guys. Do I know how to chop garlic? No. Right, Connor's down here. Hey guys. He's in love with the fact that the shrimp is already peeled and everything. I'm That's in nice. love with it. I just love that <laughs> shrimp. So here I have my thawed shrimp. Just gonna kind of mix it in. So now guys, we're gonna pat dry this shrimp. Once you finish pat drying, guys, you're gonna place it in a medium bowl. This will be my medium bowl I'm using. And it says we'll be using half the garlic, half the lemon zest, a teaspoon of sugar. And we're going to drizzle some olive oil. You're gonna just combine everything. And you're gonna season with salt and pepper. And an optional thing you could do is add chili flakes, which I have. And this is what everything should look like once it's mixed. And then I have a large pan that I'm already heating up. I'm gonna put seven cups of water since I am making four servings. I made a mistake. We're gonna switch this water into this. 
with you guys. It's okay to make mistakes. It's just for the chicken stock. Now over medium high heat, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of butter and then i'll just be mixing this around once that butter melts we're gonna also add galleon and remaining garlic so i just added the remaining garlic then we're going to add the scallions you're just gonna kind of mix it because you're supposed to do this for a minute so we're gonna do that for a minute really quick. Also, they send you rice, so we have the arboreal rice. I don't know what that's technically actually named. So now you're supposed to also like kind of cook this a little. Let this mix, and my water is already almost done boiling. Let me just show you. This is what the rice looks like and then the water is already boiling okay they give you this squeeze thing which is the chicken broth concentrate and you're gonna mix it into the hot water i have a broken spoon that i'm just gonna mix the chicken broth with and then it says add half a cup of stock to pan with rice mixture cook stirring until liquid has mostly absorbed i'm gonna do exactly that and pour half a cup okay we're gonna so you're supposed to keep adding half a cup until it is absorbed. So once it is absorbed, you're just gonna keep adding it and adding it. And it's supposed to be a creamy mixture. So that's just what you have to keep an eye on if it's becoming creamy or not. So this is what it looks like. I think it already pretty much absorbed most of it. All right guys, just to update you, I've been adding half a cup still as it absorbs and it's definitely getting a lot more thicker now and getting closer to it being ready i believe so we're just going to keep adding more until it's completely creamy and it's actually like chewable and then i'm going to cook the shrimp but right now it's looking pretty freaking good guys look at that oh never mind <laughs> okay so the risotto is getting a lot closer to being ready already so i'm going to get started on the shrimp we're also going to drizzle again some more olive oil in the pan Guys, you literally feel like a chef without being a chef just making all this at home. As they give you the step-by-step -step, like I had mentioned, and I literally feel like I'm a chef over here. I feel like Gordon Ramsay would be proud of me. I'm going to pour the shrimp in. My puppy is over here. Smelling the food. Milo, does this smell good? Also, you guys haven't met our puppy. So this is our newest family member. Milo, come on. This is Milo. He is a Frenchie mixed with a pug, and he is the most sweetest and cutest dog ever. And he cuddles us, and he lets us dress him up, so I take full advantage of that. The risotto is looking really good. Um, this is cooking a lot faster than I expected. This looks really good for the shrimp. Then you're going to squeeze in the lemon juice. There might be some seeds in there, whoops. And then you're going to turn off the heat. You might just add some more red pepper flakes in the shrimp. As for the risotto, it looks ready, so I'm going to turn it off. And you are supposed to season this, so I'm going to taste it, and then you're supposed to season it after tasting it. So taking a spoon good we're supposed to add pepper and salt i love a lot of pepper so i'm gonna add a good amount of pepper in this i'm gonna mix it together you're supposed to squeeze some more lemon juice and then you're supposed to add two more tablespoons of butter into the risotto that was almost a fail i sent two packs of the parm cheese And you're just gonna mix this until it is melted into the risotto. Guys, also, I had a freaking cut in between my fingernail and <laughs> squeezing that lemon really hurt. This looks very creamy and cheesy. I'm excited to taste it. I'm gonna grab three plates. I should probably use a bowl about these plates today. Now I'm gonna add the shrimp. Honestly, these are pretty big servings. Or it might be the plate, I don't know. 
but that's done so connor is pretty picky so i'm not gonna add any more of the other stuff but i am gonna add some lemon zest onto mine as direct to and then some remaining scallions and then they said to also add a little bit of more chili pepper flakes so i'm gonna do that and this is what it looks like guys now we're gonna do a taste test i'm excited okay guys connor it's about to come down a little and try dinner but i want to do my taste test first so let's try it guys this is really good oh my gosh this is so good <laughs> this is dangerous because this is something i would honestly eat every day of my life i got too excited eating i just bit my lip why did you have to make a recipe so good because now look i'm dealing with some consequences all right guys connor is about to taste it let's see what he thinks Ooh, moist <laughs> i'm gonna try the rice first it's risotto risotto it's very creamy it's creamy Pretty good. Now I'm a big shrimp guy, so let me try the shrimp. A lot of flavor. I know. And this it's is all so their good. recipe? Yeah. Mm. It's so good. Wow. All right, guys, it's the next day. We totally forgot to do an outro because we honestly just ate, went to bed. That was it. But I hope you guys enjoyed that cooking video with me. If you guys, again, are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe. And we will see you in our next video. Bye.